Hi guys! What's up and welcome to today's video. This one is going to be a challenge that I've never tried before and I don't think I've seen this challenge anywhere on YouTube either, so this might be the first one of these ever. So the other day I was watching a video by a girl called Jamie here on YouTube and she makes these incredible art videos. And recently she made a video where she tried to use a really big brush on a very small canvas. And I thought that that was such a fun idea for a challenge, and I thought that it would be interesting to do something similar for my channel. But since I don't use tools that much, it wouldn't really make sense to just use bigger tools. So instead I thought I would try to create this little unicorn, but wearing rubber gloves. The kind you would use for doing dishes. And even before starting shooting this video, I realized that this was going to be really, really difficult. Here I'm just trying to hold the original unicorn that I'll be trying to recreate, but as you can see, even holding such a small item with these big gloves is really, really hard. So as I said before, the types of gloves I'll be using will be the types you use for doing dishes. As you can see, I chose the small size for the gloves because I want them to be as tight as possible, but I can tell you even the small size are not tight. Here we just put them on and as you can see they are pretty big and not very even on my fingers. Here I think I'm trying to make a heart with the gloves on and uh, yeah I've sped this up a bunch of times but you can see that even doing such a simple thing is, is pretty difficult when you're wearing these gloves. And apart from the size of the gloves, I think that this texture is going to be a big problem. As you can see, it has this surface to make it easier to grip things, but when doing stuff with clay, this is something that you really don't want, because this is going to leave a pattern on the clay surface everywhere. But anyway, so let's get straight into the video. So here's the unicorn again that I'll be trying to make. Um, yeah, still having problems with holding it with my fingers. So I will be starting with this white clay and here I'm just taking some clay trying to uh, shape it into a ball. Yeah, here is exactly what I thought would happen. The clay gets the exact same pattern as on the gloves which is going to be a little bit annoying, I think. Um, so yeah, I'm just trying to shape the clay into a ball. <laughs> And I made it too small, so here I'm just adding some clay again. And here I noticed that the upside of the gloves didn't have any texture on it, so I tried to roll a ball with the wrong side of my hands, which was a little bit weird. And here I'm just comparing the sizes for the head, and I wanted to add a little bit more clay, so that's what I'm doing here. So the head is far from perfect, but the size of it is pretty okay. So now I'll be moving on to the body. And for the body I did pretty much the same thing as with the head. I just tried to make it the right size and shaped it somewhat similar to the original unicorn. And now we have a head and a body for the unicorn, and it's time to move on to even smaller details. I'll be trying to make the arms and feet for the unicorn. So I did that by just taking small pieces of clay, and now I'll be trying to give them the right shape. So giving them the right shapes was a bit difficult, but I ended up with something that looked like this. And then I remember that a unicorn needs some ears, so that is what I'm doing here. And making that small pointy shape to the ears was really difficult, because the fingertips when you're wearing gloves are really smooth, so it's hard to make shapes that aren't soft and has like sharp angles to them. So yeah, that's what I'm trying to do here. <laughs> it took quite a while to make the ears. But now it's time to move over to the even smaller details. I'm going to start by doing the horn for the unicorn. And as you can see, the original unicorn has two colors in the horns. So I'll be trying to recreate that for this unicorn. 
And the horn was probably the only part that, that was easier than I thought it would be. Here I am carefully trying to make the spiral part for the horn and I'm actually pretty surprised about how well this turned out. This actually looks like a unicorn horn. In here I'm just trying to remove the upper part to make it the right size, but as you can see, it's actually pretty huge. So I'm trying to remove more material from the horn to make it smaller. It's, which was pretty difficult because normally I can do that with my fingers if I have like long fingernails, but when you have gloves you have no nails, so that was a bit difficult. And yeah, I, so I removed some more uh, material from the horn and I tried to give it a better shape and and yeah, now we have a finished horn for the unicorn. And the next step is obviously to make the color for the mane and tail for the unicorn. So here I'm just putting out a bunch of different colors and I try to roll them out, making them thinner towards the edges to have something to start with for the hair. And just like with the horn, it was a bit difficult to cut off the right lengths for, for the mane and tail, but I did my best by just making some indents into the clay and hoping that that would be enough for me to actually remove the smaller pieces. And yeah, here I'm just trying to put on the parts for the mane. So far looking pretty good, but we only have one strand here, so yeah, I'm trying to pick up the next one. It's so hard to like grab small things because you have these like big fingers and they don't really stick to the clay. I feel like skin sticks a lot easier to the clay. So, but yeah, I got it up. Yay! <laughs> this is like ridiculously difficult. It probably looks like I'm just being a bit clumsy, but I'm like really concentrated while doing this. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm gonna speed up this part because this took forever. Yeah, and I dropped the entire unicorn, oh my god. <laughs> so, a few minutes later, we have the hair for the head finished for the unicorn, and it's time to make the tail, which was a lot more simple because I just took a bunch of different colored clay pieces and I put them together and then I attach them to the backside of the unicorn. I know that this unicorn looks kind of crappy but it's also kind of cute. <laughs> it's so not perfect but still it's like cute in its own way. So now it's time to make the face for the unicorn which was probably the part that I was most nervous about because even when I'm not wearing gloves I find it difficult to make like a perfect face. Um, so I started to make the eyes, but, but then I realized that um, it's smarter to start with the white shimmer for the eyes because the black clay tends to like stain your fingers even when I was wearing gloves. So I put away the black clay and here I'm just making the details for the eyes and also the little pink cheeks. And then I continued on with the eyes. And now it's time for the smallest detail of all, which is the mouth for the unicorn. So I started out by rolling out the black clay to make it as thin as I could. And I actually managed to do that. And I was a bit surprised that it was that easy to do that actually. So then I just put on the eyes. Here I am actually making the mouth and I was so concentrated when doing this that, that I didn't even realize that the camera was out of focus so I didn't really show the process but I basically just cut off the edges and made it into a mouth shape. And then I tried to put it on the unicorn and I was trying to be really careful when doing this because it's so hard to hold the small things without completely smushing them when wearing the gloves. So here we have the mouth and yeah. I dropped them right into the tail of the unicorn. <laughs> if 
but I managed to get out the mouth and here I'm just trying to pick it up again and I failed. There we go. So yeah, I have the mouth and it's on. Oh, not really the position that I planned for, but yeah. There we go, the mouth is on and all that's left to do now is just to put on the little shimmer for the eye and also the cheeks that I made earlier. So before baking, this is what the little unicorn looks like. So yeah, it's far from perfect, but I actually think that it looks pretty cute. So I baked the clay and now I'm just gonna try to glaze the unicorn. And I then took some glitter and I dipped the unicorn into the glitter. And I ended up spilling quite a lot of glitter, but I did my best to remove the extra glitter on the head. And as I said before, compared to the original one, this one is far from perfect, but I still think it has a kind of a cute style to it. It actually looks pretty cute. So that was actually everything for today's video. I actually think that this was a really fun challenge to do. I had a lot of fun making this and if you want to do something fun and challenge yourself at home, you can totally try this one out. Also, let me know in the comments if you would like me to do this challenge again, maybe with even bigger gloves or, or if I try to create a different design, let me know what you think in the comments. As always, don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!